Does anybody know what the word murder means? Debbie? It's when someone kills someone, like on TV. No, honey. Not like on TV. TV is just pretend. Once upon an eclipse, three children were born. Can you count that high? If you can, you might not like this movie. Anyway, ten years after this event, those three children turned evil. Why? Probably because of the eclipse. Proving that astrology is 100% real and 300% accurate. So why didn't my Zodiac warn me about this movie? But I digress. We've got other things to worry about. Plenty, trust me. Like the sheriff who's bombing show and tell harder than a car in Northern Ireland. Someone is using graveyards, shovels, and jump ropes to kill horny teenagers. Who is doing it? Of course, it's those three Eclipse kids from before doing the killing. They are killing the shit out of everybody, and they have zero reason to do it. I guess better purposes are left for better movies. Spoilers, uh, this movie makes about as much of an attempt to hide these facts about these kids as it does in trying to entertain you. In other words, it doesn't try at all. And you don't need a horoscope to know these things. But what you do need to know, I'm going to let you know. I'm doing you a favor right now. You need to run or get ready. Because, buddy, it's time to scramble for some candles. Because this movie blows. It's 1981's bloody birthday. The 1970s and 80s were an interesting time, a simpler time. There were decades where people needed multiple public service announcements to warn them against having kids. It was the age of the killer kid movie. Some of these movies were entertaining because they were creatively retarded. Others decided just not sucking was enough. Overall though, most killer kid movies understood what they needed to be. They understood they had to be a movie with creepy kids. A sense of foreboding, likable characters, people you would care about if something bad were to happen to them. Something a dynamic that creates a really icky, crawling sense of danger from something that can at least bite your ankles. A threat. That's what it takes to have a serious movie. If not that, a movie needs to be over the top, be bombastic. In other words, you need to be silly. Well, bloody birthday. It's a movie about psychopathic kids scrapbooking their murders. Sirius was never invited to the party. But is it silly? Well, it has a playful soundtrack. The actors cough up attempts at being funny every now and then. But any whimsy the movie has is crushed, really suffocated, frequently by exploitative and bleak situations, like scenes involving kids trapped in junkyard iceboxes. I want a horror movie. If I want depressing reality, I'll visit my parents. As hard as it is to consider Bloody Birthday serious or silly, it is in fact even harder to call it horror. Bloody Birthday cuts away from most of its kills. It features none of the gore that most successful slashers require. Have you ever seen a horror movie that avoids violence? Well, I have, and I think it's child abuse. But it's not the kids getting abused, no. It's us, you and me, and we're getting beat up by these three evil kids in this movie. And the biggest act of violence against us viewers is the movie's title. It's Bloody Birthday, right? Well, finally, the big day arrives, the birthday party. And your fears of a wasted time evaporate as the kids start dumping festive rat poison on a cake. This is going to be good. Suddenly, a kid falls ill, surely about to puke up a multicolored rat poison confection onto the ground. Well, this is it. The big nasty puke fest that will deliver what the movie's title, poster, and premise all promised. Nothing happens. Instead, the movie says, hey, you're not getting a giant death scene. You're getting nothing. Party's over. Go home. There's no bloody birthday in the movie called Bloody Birthday. Wow. I thought this was a horror movie. Well, the only horror you're going to feel is when you end up on a list because the movie decided to substitute creative slasher kills with scenes of the children watching family members get naked. What? What's weird about that? It's a, it's a kid's movie. You gotta have kids watching other people get naked. Come on, it's good, right? 
Oh my god, what is wrong with this movie? <laughs> but as for actual horror in this movie? Buddy, that's a hard wish. Bloody Birthday just doesn't know what it is. It defeats its entertainment potential by both not having a point and by not reveling in its freedom from that point. It's a party where the invited guests have nothing in common, no one knows each other, and no one knows why they're there. They're just waiting for something to happen, for a point to this gathering. Well, I'll break the ice and I'll make that point. This party sucks. I give Bloody Birthday one bloody cake out of five. What is wrong with people, man? Get, quit making movies. Everybody, you're no longer allowed to make movies. Just, just stop. We're done. I'm serious. I want to watch a horror movie. I'm like, all right, let's put on Bloody Birthday. It's got a pretty good poster. And then it's like this guy just walks in and goes, hey, you want to watch some kids, watch some people get naked? And it's like, um, uh, no. No, I just, I'd, I'd like to watch a horror movie, sir. Oh, it's going to be horrible. You just wait. <laughs> That's what watching horror movies is like. Now, I've gone through all the good ones. I, I just, I have to stop. Please, someone, stop me. Either we stop making movies, or you stop me. One of the two. All of these things are designed to frighten a monkey. 